Hey everybody, I'm John Everts. Welcome to This Week in Santa Clarita Real Estate. Very excited about this show. We have my friend Martin from Hello. Wintrust Mortgage. He's <laughs> co-hosting. And Cherie from Equity Union, who's an absolutely fantastic agent. And um, Cherie Benoit, right? We want to say yes, the name right. Benoit. Should Cherie I have? Benoit. I, I know I have missed your name on more than one occasion. It's, so okay. it's not and Cherie I love Benoit. Benoit. Yeah, it's not <laughs> Benoit. Exactly. Anyways, Cherie Benoit. Thank you. And we love having you here. And not awesome. only is Cherie an awesome realtor, but um, she's one of my favorite realtors because she is invested in our community. She actively gives back to the community. And we want to s highlight that and spotlight real estate agents who are making our community a better place to live. Making a so, difference. yeah, making a difference. I mean, it, you know, you can sell real estate and make money, and that's all good. But <laughs> if you want the community to get better, you got to do a little bit more than yeah. just transactions. Yeah. So, tell us about this amazing organization that you have been working with. Okay, I will. Well, thank you so much, John and Martin, for having me today. And I really appreciate the opportunity to come and talk about Hollywood Impact Studios. Awesome. It's near and dear to my heart. Um, you know, I live in the town of Castaic, which is connected to Santa Clarita, of course. And we do, you know, business in Santa Clarita and all around the surrounding areas. And with that, you know, it's um, one of the features of Castaic is that we have the prison there. A big one. Yes, wow, and yeah. so um, Hollywood Impact Studios is run by Gary and Cindy Hall, who um, Gary is retired from Fox Television Studios. He has gone into the prison, created a program where he teaches men how to do the film in business from start to finish, from screenwriting all the way to the stage, the lighting, the, you know, I don't know all the names, like grip, yeah, I don't right. know what that grip is. And but, you know. and <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then to post production, I do know that one <laughs> <laughs> because my husband worked in that for a little bit in a little while. But um, just that he gets in there and he gets his hands dirty and he meets these guys and he helps them to see and understand that there's more to life than gang banging and drugs and that they have, you know, different things inside of them that when cultivated can come out as good gifts that they can give back again or even in you know improve their life when they get out and maybe reconnect with their family. So this program kind of just not only teaches them those job skills, but his wife Cindy goes in and teaches the um, world view. And so that also teaches them so many things about um, maybe their past and what their future could be like in a different set of circumstances so that they don't just go back into that same old yeah. lifestyle again and again. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's amazing to me this guy's mind works at Fox Television Studios and is like, what am I going to do with the experience I got here? to make the world a better place because I, I wouldn't have made yeah. that connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are going to retire and be done and go fishing or <laughs> golfing all day or yeah. whatever. Yeah, He's working to continue and to elevate mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's not just the community, it's individuals, you know. You know, people who get caught up with, with gangs and I think that's the big part of the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of it is they just need somebody to give them a, a refocus, a reshaping, right. a, a new sense of direction. So you're mm -hmm. now teaching them a skill that they didn't have or something yes. they can latch on to that's positive and get mm -hmm. away from that negative attraction of gang life or right. or whatever that is. Well, and right. when I mentioned that to you earlier, is he doing that to teach them a skill they can use after they get out to get a job? I loved your answer. I really want you to repeat that for the people that are watching because I didn't think about this either. So it's more than just learning a skill. Yeah, and I don't remember what I said earlier. Oh, okay, okay. I remember. <laughs> I remember because it stuck with me. Okay. You said it, it gives them skills that they're able to use while they're still in jail yes, because yes. they're working together on something that's positive. That's right, yes. Learning yeah. teamwork, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. learning, you know, uh, cooperation, yes. collaboration, and that kind of stuff. I mean, I just, mm -hmm. it, it blew me away. You know, the first time you ever told me about this organization, I was like, eh, what? Well, the, yeah. the relationship aspect yeah. of it yeah. and, and, and yeah. coming together. Again, mm -hmm. when you give somebody a common purpose, yes, you're working towards something. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I could be working towards something that's positive or something that's negative. Mm -hmm. He's giving them something positive they can do. And let's not forget, working in the Hollywood and film industry out here can be very lucrative. You know, oh, yeah. for you give you give somebody that second chance. You give them an opportunity to get out now and prove themselves. They can make a great totally. living. I know a lot of guys that I have worked in the in the lending side yeah. of it that I've qualified that are 
lighting guys, grips, yes. uh, props, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. it is. I mean, there's so many. Yeah. You ever watch a movie, sitting mm -hmm. around watching the list of credits? Yes. There's like 150 jobs. Yes. You're like, wow. And they're all pretty, you know, they're, they're, they're working hard and everything. Absolutely. They go, well, hey, so that's fantastic. Yes. And so. you're right. That is what I had mentioned. And um, it's interesting because there's a... Uh, electronic press kit on YouTube for Hollywood Impact Studios. I was going to ask you and how people can get more. Yeah, I was going to. And when you too. watch it, it's that that video was put together by the man oh, in prison. Cool. So it and it it shows you how when they start to work in this um, and put the, these things together, that they become vulnerable. It helps break down those barriers. It helps them to, like you said, mentioned and reminded me that I said that they learn to work together because now they see each other as human beings. Yep. Yeah. You know, not just you're my rival. You know. And you know, mm -hmm. I don't want to get political. I think. If you're in jail or prison, it, I'm sure it absolutely sucks. Oh, yeah. And we want those institutions to function in a way that when the people go in, they at least have an opportunity to better themselves and then get out and advance and be a, a, a contributing member of the community. So yes. I love hearing about organizations that are, are helping these guys, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, let me ask you something real quick, too, also. The work that he... That is it Gary you're saying is Gary? he the only one that's doing or does he have a staff of people that go into the prisons and where is it a team of people yeah. that are working he here? does he does have a bunch of people that have signed on with him he is the leader he is the one that's instituted this right but they do it. go in with him and they have to go through all the clearances and everything to be able to, to go get in on, on site so they're on yes. site at the jail doing yes. this educational component and when somebody gets out of jail is there are they still involved with the Hollywood impact you know, uh, program or, or is there any kind of follow-up work after? Absolutely, they have the opportunity to um, stay connected with Gary and Gary can help find housing guidance. for them. Oh, he wow. will also help as he can to connect them with different positions that they might be interested in. Awesome, um, so he's transitioning people. them from yes. the time they're there Look, you're here. Let's make the most mm -hmm. of your time. You know, right. you know, I don't know if that's the appropriate way of saying it, right. but, no, but you're mean, maximizing that should, in a positive yeah. way and giving them an avenue that says, okay, I'm still here for you yes. when you get out. Yes. See me, let's talk this. And now we have a lot more freedom with what we can do. We'll yes. go into the next phase. He has a couple of men that have not left his side since they got out. Be and oh, they wow. have improved their position. They have gotten employment. They've created their own companies. They've, whether I know one of them is like a contractor, another one has a side business doing tree trimming. But he, they have both dedicated themselves to stick with Gary and help him with the future uh, moving forward that of is this, amazing. you know, mm -hmm. um, That's called helping legacy. others. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and he also has acquired some property that he's leasing up in Lake Hughes, where he's. Um, just building it out and refurbishing some of the old buildings that were on the property. And his ultimate goal is to create um, housing for them and more job skill related um, just op opportunities, opportunities yeah. like schools, like created into a school too. So not just al allowing Got them it. a place to live, yeah. but maybe a place to go and still learn other job skills besides maybe the movie industry. Sure. See something I mean, like obviously not everybody's yeah. going to want to work in the movie right. industry. Yeah, but that's his starting point. Yeah, no. He came from Fox Studios, so he knows that yes. business. Start with what you know. And yes. who, I mean, the possibilities are endless. I mean, to have a heart like that and go out there. Let me ask you this. What does the organization need if somebody wants to get involved, somebody yeah. like us who not, I don't know anything about the film industry or whatever, but if somebody other wants to get involved or support, what does the organization need? How do people connect with the organization? Um, again, Hollywood Impact Studios is, um, you know, something you can look up uh, online. They have their uh, YouTube channel. They can reach out to me and I can connect them to Gary. Very good. Um, they do different events throughout the year where they're raising money. Um, and they also um, do other little outreaches for the Vita kids here in town. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's children no, that <laughs> children that might start going down the wrong path uh, and they yeah, have to be dedicated yeah. to um, checking in with, it's not exactly a parole officer, but you have to go in and do some community service. And so they'll come up to the mountain and they'll do brush clearing or they'll do a day of just, um, uh, you know, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, farming or clearing, uh, just it's like things. labor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and yeah. so, but then, then we'll serve them a really good lunch. So we have a chef that um, has been on staff now, and wow. um, so she comes up and creates 
some wonderful meals for them, and the kids just love it. So awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. They want to come back just for the food. So. Yeah. so listen, if you want to find out more about this organization, you can contact Sherry, or you can use the information that came on the screen there, or that's in the link below the video. But um, what I really want you to take from today is that we have an amazing real estate agent here who is fully invested in the community and in making the community better. And we want to highlight people like you. And there are a lot of really great agents in town that are doing some really great work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we want to know who they are. And we yeah. want to know the work that's being done. And we want to know why it's such a great place to live. So really appreciate yeah. you coming out and sharing this stuff with us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you again Sheree. for having yeah. me. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, gl I'm glad. You and I have worked together for quite some time now. And I've seen you. And I know you've been involved with this community. So everything he just said, I don't want to repeat it. But I want to thank you as well because I've seen you do this. Oh. And we've shared it. And, and yeah. we're lucky to be able to talk to you about this today. I did not know all this. <laughs> about your, your organization. I mean, you so gotta ask, right? She, yeah. She's not gonna walk around and just start no. talking about Well, we've had little conversations here and there, and then I was like, uh, tell me more. Yeah, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Okay, so let's talk about this. Yeah. But that's really cool. We'll have to meet Gary sometime, and, and oh, yeah, that would be cool. a, a yes. good guy to meet. Oh, so. I would love that. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thank you. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us today to find out about this organization and about this amazing woman. Mm -hmm. And we hope that you will get involved to make our community an even better yeah. place. Thanks again for joining us on This Week in Santa Clarita Real Estate.